Chat, here we go. We got Flakes versus Mizekski. Winner qualifies for the Fear Fest finale. Loser sent to the lower bracket with one more chance, one more best of five to try and qualify. But can you believe it? Flakes has made it to this position. I think everybody, when they saw Flakes was going to be playing the tournament, wasn't sure what we were going to get from him. It's been a long time since we've seen him as a top ones player. And I think even when I asked him, he wasn't necessarily ultra confident. Um, but he is here now and he has shown that he is playing at a high, high level and is one series win away from qualifying. On the other side of the field is Mizekski, and it's not who you might be thinking. That is not Moxie with a cheeky mix-up of his name where he removed some vowels. It is a completely different player, a Middle Eastern player named Mizekski, who has played in my qualifiers before. I'm not sure if he's made a tournament or not. I can't think off the top of my head if he ever did, but he's definitely played well in the past and has got himself an opportunity to be one game away. Blake's going to throw the good luck have fun as he forgot to throw it out at the beginning of the game and his games have been very very friendly by the way Flakes is live as well on his channel twitch.tv slash Flakes I believe he has been streaming his whole run through the tournament and that honestly makes his run just that much more impressive because not often do players play very well when they're streaming but Flakes has made some content himself out of this tournament as he gets a second goal. Thank you, 20 IO, for the tier two. A tier two. One month sub at tier two. Thank you. I forget what extra emote you get for going tier two, but I do appreciate it. Blakes has been rocking this same car. I actually don't know which one it is. Normally, one to kind of almost randomize between every single game. Probably did randomize to originally get this car, but has stuck with it for the entirety of the tournament. And Mizekski can get his first goal. Nice flick. Push it over the top of Flakes. The Ripper. Thank you, chat. <laughs> Mizekski hoping to surprise Flakes with an immediate shot. Flakes is ready. Into his classic bounce dribble. Gains control of the ball and gives it a soft flick. Over the top of Mizeski Flakes. So interesting the way he plays 1v1. Shows you how little you can do. We all saw Dandroid play in the Pro Drops North American tournament where he went full Dandroid in the process of winning that. Kind of showing that you don't need to do a lot of air rolling to be effective. Flakes is kind of that embodied as a player who seems to find ways to break you down with doing as little as possible. Almost as if it were a challenge. Blake's going to get a fourth. Blake's is very mechanical. That's the thing that people don't understand. Just because he's done these get to X ranks with no mechanics videos, I think people start to think, oh, Blake's has no mechanics. You know, and he, That's why he's doing this and showing us how to get good. But when you see Flakes take the occasional wall to air dribble and play something in a fancier way. You see that he actually has the mechanics hidden underneath. He just doesn't think they're always worth using. Right now, up 4-1. Lakes definitely not going to meet Mizekski with that challenge. He sees how poorly Mizekski is likely to touch it. He just turns and backs away. <laughs> he backs away again. A fake. Oh, actually, does not work out in his favor. The ball hits the crossbar and drops down to Mizeski, who actually somehow got the magic read as he like wave dashed into the wall and fell off and got the perfect 50. I want to watch this again from the same perspective. Okay, that was amazing if it was intentional as well as he just fell off the ball and had Flakes send it right into him. Kickoff win brings him right back within one. Just a standard kickoff. You know, that wasn't intentional. You refuse to believe it. Yeah, the thing about the... I always want to lean intentional. Because... These players do impress me in many ways. What's to say... They didn't have some of these reads that seem like... An average human would never have, but... 
Players who make it this far are far from average. Blake's hiding behind the ball until he finds his opportunity to steal the corner boost. Just going to throw a testing shot at Mazeski, who is diving at the ball left and right, and Flakes refuses to touch the ball into him. If Mazeski is going to be diving, he is going to turn away and let him dive. Mazeski's going to have to be a bit safer with his challenges. He's definitely going to have to be safer in a position like that, because Flakes is certainly going to punish you when you slam the ball into the ground right where he is at, and most importantly, go flying past the play with zero boost and absolutely no recovery. Flakes, a weaker player, might take a wall to air dribble, but not if you ask Flakes. The best thing to do is go to the ground and 50 the opponent. Interesting touch to the wall to punish Mizekski was already partially up it. Flex has actually done that a few times. He takes into the wall and into the corner more than I would expect. Maybe because defenders aren't expecting it. Teske is going to try and wait until he knows for sure he's getting a goal. And if Flex waits this long, it's going to be fairly easy. He just comes to a complete stop. No momentum for him. In fact, arguably negative momentum as he hits forward and reverse over and over to lock himself in place. Did Fahad get an invite? Did he miss the swamp because Fahad had some great matches? No, I actually haven't seen Fahad playing a ton of ones recently. Fahad, of course, had he wanted to play and uh, be in this invite qualifier, he certainly would have been accepted. But he did not reach out. I'm not sure he's interested. Zeski a fifth. One away from bringing this back. 38 seconds for Flakes to hold on. Immediate kickoff goal will tie the game back up. Sorry, I had to step away from the mic because I'm going to have to do that on occasion. Still have a bunch of uh, gunk up in my sinuses. But Mzeski having a tough time this entire game, it felt. And now is completely square with Flakes. That missed touch, though, will get Flakes right back on top. Fahad doesn't compete anymore. I think Fahad still plays... In RLCS, does he not? Which is certainly competing. I just don't know if he plays 1v1. Johnny said on a recent stream that he doesn't play anymore. Interesting. What a save. Wait a second. He's looking at chat. Is that not a nutty position? Wait, it was Flakes who was trying to score, though. <laughs> what happened there? Oh. Mazeski, you got to touch that ball. Mazeski had control. He needed to chip it up. He just thought he had a little bit longer to do so. Flakes will win game number one. <laughs> Somebody in chat already said, thought it was Moxie. <laughs> as soon as Mazeski gets a loss, they reveal that in chat they bet and that they thought it was Moxie. <laughs> it's not. It is not Moxie. It is Mazeski. That being said, I forgot to mention this previously. Flakes actually had to wait for his grand final game while the other side of the bracket got played out. And apparently he was warming up or staying warm with Moxie. The actual Moxie that you're thinking of from France. Whereas this is Mazeksky from Saudi Arabia. Last game they said that and he won. That's true. That's true. People did accidentally bet on him thinking he was Moxie and then he pulled out for everyone and got the win for the Moxie fans. Can he do it again against Flakes? Flakes soft touch in front of net. Deciding not to go all in. Very wise play there late. The 50 boost could have tried to go for some sort of panic 50 on the goal line. Instead, saved it all. Took a deep breath, said this goal is not going to work, but I'll have other chances. Zeski is a freak on the ball right now. and Flakes is more than willing to let him be as he just waits for his opportunity to get his dribble, which he has now. The fake challenge from Mazeski forces that early flick from Flakes. 
Lake's just going to completely back off this ball. Did not even slightly entertain the idea of staying in control of it. And now he is going to get scored on as Mizekski takes it and rolls it right near the near post. The ball was sent high. And I think Flakes could have stuck around. I want to say Flakes could have stayed around the play and maybe at least made Mizekski think. But instead he just completely left and let him have such a free setup. Yo, S9 Sanju99, thank you for the Prime for two months. Nice indeed. Appreciate the two months of Prime. Zeski just used his second jump to push his car back down to the ground so that he could make a play off of the bounce and instead just launched it directly into flakes. Actually, not off the bounce. He was still trying to shoot it in the air before the bounce. But just helped Flakes long shot it for a second goal. This kick off too strong for Mizeski to get back underneath it. So it will be a Flakes possession who is only coming to this ball in the air so that Mizeski does not come to steal it. And he's not able to get anything except for a boost steal. The slight bump, maybe he can turn it in for a goal. Mizeski on zero. Likely going to be forced to pop this ball away from him at some point and then retreat to net. Or actually, Flakes will just help him out, demo him, make it impossible to retreat, and tap in a third. Delay kickoff for Flakes. Doesn't go as well as it could have. They trade on demos. And that is going to be very favorable for Flakes. Is the ball quite literally on a platter in front of him as he respawns. Flicks early and then tried to backflip challenge here. So he gives the nice shot even before the shot comes. That's because he knows he's been outplayed. Thought he could surprise Mizeski maybe with a little backflip challenge. But Mizeski kept it away. Big kick out for Flakes. He has been lobbing shots on net and then trying to continue them. And he doesn't steal boost early. He's waiting out, trying to put a touch on ball as Mizeski controls it in the process of stealing the boost. Just because he knows he's heading there, doesn't mean he needs to go there with a rush, it seems. So he does take another corner from Mizeski. And he's going to cut right back towards net. He knows this one's getting saved. So he pulls off the ball. The patience of Flakes to wait for the goal to come to him is always very impressive. He's going to power slide cut right back on net. He wants Mazeski to have to play on low boost. And then the goal does eventually come, and he gets a fourth. Mazeski was trying to dive in an effort to get Flakes to go to the sidewall, leave the ball for a moment or even just leave, you know, the attack so that he could get 100. But Flakes did not accept that invitation and immediately forced the ball right back on top of Mazeski to make him play on low boost. Mazeski intercepted by Flakes, who is not going to bring the ball to Mazeski, not unless he's forced to. A slow roll hook shot, and it's just a goal crossbar down. He shows you just how easy it can be if you do it right. And Mazeski's stuck in the no man's land where he couldn't dive the challenge and he could not get up to react to that one. Mazeski down three. A minute to bring it back. Lakes. Has all the time in the world control this ball and it just feels like the game slows down when it's in his possession. Zeski, nice challenge. It's going to be tough to impossible to get an angle though so he's actually not going to go for one. He's going to back off, steal the boost and try and get a possession going and Blake's actually a rare defensive mistake. Just lets Mazeski have one. This lobby normally involves Flakes saying nice shot and his opponent thanking him but Mazeski locked in. No quick chats for him. He threw his good luck out, and that's all he needs. 
Now he's trying to break Flakes down, and you see four, four nice shots on the quick chat, and that's four goals for Mazeski. All of them nice, according to Flakes. As he puts it behind the late recovering defender. It is going to be a half flip kickoff for Flakes. As he tries to stop the bleeding, and he might have gotten a good enough 50. He needs to dodge this demo, which he does. Well, not even demo, but a bump. Mazeski was just trying to bump him out of the play. Flakes, though, with 15 seconds. Can he play this lead correctly? As he sends it away. Should be able to get a sixth goal. Flakes. Looking like he's about to be one win away from qualifying for the Fear Fest finale for joining right back in where he left off in the 1v1 scene in the biggest tournaments on the biggest stages. Needs one more game, though. Up 2-0 in a best of five. Game number three. Flakes on such a crazy run through the bracket so far. Showing that there really hasn't been a single lost step in his ones game from when he was grinding the mode and playing in tournaments in the past. And this is... One of his favorite kind of goals as he power slide cuts the ball to get Mazeski flying past the play. You continue to dive like that and Flakes will continue to punish. Simply Nader, thank you for the brand new prime. Flakes getting bumped off the ball here. He's trying to go up over the top. He gives the nice shot every time Mazeski scores. Feels the need to give him credit. That was a good shot indeed. Zeski wave dash kickoff. Flakes gets just enough on it, but needs to hang around for the follow up. Knows that he doesn't have time to go grab boost. He's just going to launch a big clear and it's actually staying on ball. 12 boost to work with. Not a great first touch and it's credit to Flakes' gameplay so far that Mazeski didn't feel like he could take that away. It seemed very clearly like a ball that Flakes could not protect directly above his head at a full double jump height. I mean, Mazeski's going to win that race every time and yet still, he backed off. It just goes to show what, how Flakes gets you thinking. He's been able to just pop the ball around him before. It's like, it's not going to happen again if I go try and take this ball. Flakes, so patient on the goal line, trying to save every last bit of boost as Mazeski waits to take his shot. Opportunity never comes. Great recovery from Flakes for the first touch. He's going to need another one, though, if he wants to save it. And he did. Oh, my goodness, Flakes. Keeping that one out on a magical recovery. Mazeski, though, still in control of the ball. Might end right there. As this 50 forced the sidewall, Flakes really wanted a first touch, but Mazeski actually ends up giving it for him as he turns away, grabs midfield, taking down the ball and going for a very simple fake. I'm oh, sorry, not fake, but flick. And Mazeski gets a touch. I'm surprised Mazeski didn't just try and go over the top of Flakes. Waited so long, but if he had went earlier, Flakes wouldn't have stood a chance at touching the ball. 1-1 one, one as these two try and break each other down in the midfield. Who will be the first to slip up? Blake's not a great touch off the wall. Pushing the ball down. Can't protect it. Should be taken away. And Zeski able to steal the back corner boost. Blake's has held on to 58 through this whole process, though. Another early flick, which he seems to like to do with defenders shadowing. And I really don't think he should be scoring on these but he's done it a couple times. So maybe it's time to acknowledge how good of a shot these are. I mean, I think Mazeski should touch that to the back wall and get that initial save. I don't think Flakes is even planning on scoring these. I think he's trying to put the defender in a bad spot and then continue it up. And he's just scored a couple on occasion now. Flakes. 
one of his downsides does seem to be a bit of an overreaction when players fake challenge him. He really doesn't want the ball taken from him. And when players are pretty far away, he'll seem to react to their fake challenge and flick the ball early. Zeski ball dashing his way back to the midfield for 100. Lakes doing another flick that doesn't plan on scoring, just wants to be able to continue it. Such a low scoring defensive game, but it hasn't been a ton of defense in net. It's just been tactical 1v1 gameplay in the midfield as these two trade opportunities. It's a great save by Flakes though to keep this lead. Zeski, big touch. Flakes misses and now they have a strong setup. It means he has to get supersonic just to get his shot. Therefore his read will be very easy for Flakes. Zeski bounce shot. Flakes sends it to the back wall. 50 seconds he needs to hold on to punch his ticket to the tournament. But he's not going to be able to as Mizeski ties it up. Zeski feels the pressure of the Flakes fake challenge. It seems like that's why he got that first touch into the ball. He sees his opportunity to follow it up for a goal. Lakes, pass to himself, rare, long shot in the air. Look to win this 50 as he tries to control the ball. He needs to avoid the bump from Mizeski, and he does. Mizeski just handed the ball to him. Flakes is going to have a really good possession now. He takes it slow, bounce dribble cut, trying to get Mizeski to miss, but ultimately he ends up rolling the ball right back into his car. Now as he backs off in a shadow of his own, he's at the mercy of Mizeski's flick ability. Zeski puts it high. These two playing chicken here. Neither one of them wants to be the first to commit. Flakes is setting up to himself. He has an open net. If he can keep it up, it hits the ground. Mizeski and Flakes going to overtime in this game number three. Flakes one goal away from going through the winner's bracket to the Fear Fest finale pool play. Mizeski needs a reverse sweep, and it starts here with this one goal if he can get it. Flakes catch, cut towards the net. Flakes will qualify without losing a single match. 3-0 in the winner's finals. GG's from Mazeski. Flakes is back in the 1v1 scene, and he does it dominantly as he qualifies without ever losing.